Hello, I'm in the middle of an IVF treatment in the middle of the process and I thought I would share my feelings and experiences. I had my eggs extracted yesterday. There were four eggs. I found out this morning out of the four, two of them survived the extraction. As of this moment right now, one was fertilized and so one is an embryo. They are going to try to fertilize the second one. Um, we don't know right now if it's going to be fertilized or not. And in um, two more days, I'll have them back and planted in me. And that's when I would hope for a pregnancy. This is my second IVF. In my first one, I believe I had five eggs extracted, three of which became embryos. All three were back implanted in me and none of them turned out in a pregnancy. Um, so it was not a successful IVF process. It was really difficult and painful at that time because at that time I didn't have any children yet. I now do have a daughter, so I'm happy. I'm more relaxed now because I do already have one child. As far as I know, there are a lot of successful pregnancies and babies born through IVF and probably a lot of people you know, it's a lot more than most people think it is. However, the chances of getting pregnant through IVF are not that high. It's around 20% of IVF uh, procedures result in a healthy live pregnancy. So even if you are going through the process, even though so many people are born through IVF, I suppose only about 20% of the people that have it will have a successful pregnancy. So there's a lot involved in IVF. It's a lot of shots, it's a lot of medications, a lot of drugs, a lot of tiredness, a lot of surgery. The first surgery I had to have polyps removed and then the second surgery was my egg retrieval which was just yesterday so I'm really still a little out of it right now and is still a little bit under the anesthesia. <laughs> so if I seem a little loopy or not my normal personality, that's why. The third, again, will be the implantation of the embryo, or embryo in my case, unless they can successfully um, create a successful embryo with that um, additional egg that I have. It's extremely emotional because you're trying to bring a human being into your life. People who are going through IVF clearly very much desperately want to have a child and they want that in their lives. And regarding my journey, it's been, um, it's been difficult because I, I know I had a failed IVF. I had more eggs last time than this time, but I feel hopeful. I feel hopeful. I really love to have a second child. I'm so happy to be a mother. And I'll tell you one of the reasons that, among many reasons, why people have IVF is they might be of an older age. I didn't have children when I was young, and that's okay because I think I'm a way better mom now than I could have ever been when I was young. And I think that goes for many people. With age comes maturity, more patience, more success, more knowing what you want in life, more certainty about wanting a child. By the way, my daughter was born naturally after I was told that I only had about 2% um, of having a child through IVF and less than 1% of having a child naturally. So <laughs> we, my husband and I have been trying again for a second child, so we thought we would try another round of IVF. And so we're hoping for the best now. So that's my story. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them. Thanks. Wish me luck and send me your prayers. Bye.